The Solid Waste Management Corporation is appealing to householders who are disposing of medical waste such as syringes to properly package and label these items in order to protect garbage collectors. Andre Huey has more in this report. Private medical institutions and households are being encouraged by the St. Kitts Solid Waste Management Corporation, the SWMC, to proper dispose of medical waste. Speaking on the corporation's weekly radio show, Talking Trash Tuesday, Jamela Christopher, senior manager in charge of human resources and communications, disclosed that some households are disposing medical waste improperly, posing a hazard to garbage collectors. If persons are not packaging this waste in a proper manner, of course, it's going to leave, leave our, our staff open. And we want um, to prevent this as much as possible. What persons can do, and what we are saying is that, one, you have to stop. You can no longer, and if you started, if you haven't started, don't start. Do not place your medical waste, especially your insulin needles that can cut our staff, dig our staff among your municipal waste. Ms. Christopher is appealing to private medical institutions to advise their haulers on how to dispose of medical waste. When it comes to the persons them with medical offices, please have a conversation with the person that is collecting your waste. I can only, because I've been in the medical field, I've seen very good practices when handling medical waste, so I don't really want to put, place any of the blame there because I can confirm that good practices are healthier. However, I can only assume that the persons who are collecting your waste are commingling. They might have two or three areas that they are collecting from. We want those persons, who, when they come to the landfill, to identify that they have that type of waste and so we can separate it. We dispose of that waste differently than the, than the midst of waste. So if you're, if you're commingling supermarket waste, household waste, and medical waste, it's going to cause a problem. We have to safeguard our men who is going to be walking among this waste and might get a puncture wound from a shop or be exposed to body fluid. Of course, we don't worry only about the COVID-19. However, we have other um, communicable diseases that can be transferred from shops and from um, used medical waste. So again, help us to help you when it comes to our job. Meanwhile, as a solution to the problem, Ms. Christopher disclosed that the SWMC will assist with the disposal of medical waste from households and suggested how these items can be packaged. When it comes to medical waste such as shaps and anything that can transfer body fluids such as persons having to do the their dressings, please we're asking you to package that properly in regards to the shops the contact number is 662 8572 once that is packaged properly and your callers we are going to come and collect it again there are specific containers that are sold for shops. Unfortunately, if you're not in the position to buy such a container, you can use a large Clorox bottle, anything that is hard plastic with a small mouth and a small cover. This will help you to secure it and not only secure it for from your family, but also for for our men. Talking Trash airs every Tuesday on WinFM 98.9 at 8.30 a.m.